Hello everybody, my name is Amy Combs and I'm from Simi Valley, California, and I've been a demonstrator for 28 years. And I wanna thank Jill and her team for inviting me to present to you today. And I'm gonna present this book that I created out of three envelopes. So first I'm gonna show you the book and what it is, and then I'll show you all the products I used to create it and give you a few tips. So I used three envelopes to create it. And then when you open it, you have these fun pockets that are all of the memories and more cards and envelopes. And you can put gift cards in there, you can put pictures in there, you can write little notes with memories. And then when it closes like so, oops, you can flip it over and there's Santa Claus. Okay, so what I used to create this project was, I used the Santa's Express Memories and More Cards. I used three of the Memories and More Envelopes, and I used two of the cards. And then I used a few embellishments, like the snowflakes, the rhinestones, and some ribbon. The only ink pad that I used was Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna give you a few little tips and show you how to create this. So I started out with three envelopes and I had them facing like this to show you so you can kind of get an idea as to what I'm doing. I'll put the sample right there. Okay, the first envelope, what I did is I actually trimmed this off with a paper trimmer and I flipped it around and stuck it inside here. So you can see the polka dots right here. Okay, and I, don't, I didn't bring a scissors up here so I can't do it for you. These pieces, I'm gonna use the flaps and I always use Seal Plus just because I like the adhesive. It's, it's just stronger for me and if you're gonna create something like this, you want a really strong bond. And then I just match up the bottom of the evening evergreen envelope with the fold on the poppy parade. And then I do the same here. And by putting the adhesive, I use three strips. You can go ahead and get a really good seal. <clears throat> and when I flip it over, it looks like that. Okay, then I took my cards, I cut them in half, so we're just gonna pretend I cut them in half. And I put one in here. And then this one, I actually cut down the center and one goes here and then the other one goes in here. Um, I attached ribbon by only putting it behind this card here and then it wraps around the entire book, but it's free, you know, and I put it underneath this back one, but it's not really attached, it's just behind there. Now, if you have not used the Memories and More card packs before, they are amazing and a wonderful value from Stampin' Up! And I wanna run through a couple things that I did with these. They come in four by three cards, which is this size, and four by six, which is this size. You get multiple pieces of each one and they are double-sided. You also get some acetate pieces, which I used the acetate one on, right underneath there. And then you get some fun wood pieces, which I have the Santa here because I wanna show you a little trick with that. And then you also get sticker sheets. Now I usually, when I do use the stickers, I also put some of the green glue behind the stickers so they really stick. Okay, first I wanna show you this Santa. He comes out like this, and I will warn you to be very gentle with these. I tended to use my snips a little bit when I would go in here to get the pieces out because they do kind of um, stick a little bit and um, just be gentle when you take them out of the packaging. And to 
color my Santa, I took my ink pad and I flipped him over and I just pressed. I tried to do it with the marker, it didn't really work very well. So the ink pad is best. And then let that sit to the side. And then when you do go to put the wood pieces on, use your green um, Tombow glue for that. Okay, so there's my Santa piece to show you how to do that. It will um, dry a little bit lighter. And then here I just use the regular um, wooden pieces out of the out of the different sheets, but there's a lot of different words. Um, and you get two sheets, so you have a lot of different ones. Um, I'm gonna run through each page with you and tell you what I did. Um, and I'll try to find the cards, but sometimes the cards are hard to find when you're looking for them. This piece, I actually used this. I cut it down to four inches this way, and then I used, we, you get multiple cards, so I used two cards and pieced it together to make a vertical tree piece. This one is actually my favorite card in the pack. It's this card, and I cut it apart, and then I cut the Christmas, okay? The 25 and the Santa are stickers, and the snowflake is from the snowflake pack, and this, this is why I said to make sure to glue your pieces on, because it's supposed to be right there. But I didn't glue that on. Okay, this is a sticker, yes. And then just some embellishments, and this is a sticker. It was a tag, and I cut the top of the tag off. So when you look at these cards, make sure you look at cutting them apart, using punches, using dies um, with them. Then you open the book, and we'll go to this one. This card is an, um, let's see, this is right here, the back side of this card. And then this is a card, and I just cut around it, and the Christmas is a sticker. And this piece right here is just a one inch strip from here, okay? That goes into here. And then my card here is the acetate right on top of the envelope. And I only put my adhesive behind this piece because the adhesive will show here. This Santa card is just layered onto a, the cards are three by four, so he's just layered onto a piece of Poppy Parade, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is a sticker, and this is this card right here. So just really look at cutting everything up and playing with it. This inside is my Evening Evergreen card, which I don't see, cut in half. And then this is this card. I trimmed the white off and cut it to four inches. And then I took a second card and I cut out the banner Happy Christmas. You can see that's kind of popped up right there. And that is the inside piece for here. My dear Santa is, well, this is the snowflake card, okay? This is a sticker. And this is from this piece right here. So I just trimmed this down. This is a tag sticker which is here, and then the deer part comes from here. I just cut that out, and there's your Dear Santa cute little page, and then this that I already showed you how to do. To do this one, this is the other half of this card, and then I used this on top with a um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of Poppy Parade behind it just to kind of make it pop. This piece, is from this card that I used, remember I used on the other side, I used the C is for and I used it, so then I used the candy cane right here. 
My Santa Claus is so cute, and I use this card and I fussy cut him, which means just trimming around with some scissors. And then I layered that on this card, which was also put on a piece of Poppy Parade. I put the snowflake behind, I cut my Santa out, and I popped him with dimensionals. I took um, a, you have a, a couple different um, holly stickers, so I put that there. And I just used a little strip of mint macaron and put it there, and then I used this Ho Ho Holiday sticker there. So it's great because you get some fun stickers and fun things. And then let's flip it over. This was the front of my book. So I used this, and then I used a strip of this here. About, I think this is one and a quarter. On this card, what I did was, you get so many cards. Um, I used this one, and then I took a second one, and I fussy cut it, and I popped it up. You can see there, I added a little bow and some rhinestones to embellish. And then I had the back still to do, so I took this card again. I wanted to use the Santa and Mrs. Claus, so I tried to find cards that had the same colors. Um, so I used this card and I cut it to one and a half inches, which is straight down the middle, and I layered one strip there and then one strip down here to get that vertical strip. I cut Mr. and Mrs. Claus out and placed them right over the fold or right over the seam line of the card here. This is also from the same card as Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And then this piece is right here. This piece is this one. And then this joy is from the other sticker sheet. Okay, so that's right there. And then Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I just popped them up and um, with some dimensionals and embellished it with rhinestones. And that is, that doesn't want to go back in. And that is your book. Super easy, super, it's not hard. Working with the memories and more cards are fun. They're really colorful. You get two sides, you get five of each card, so you have a lot to do. Um, and I think I used maybe a quarter of a pack to create this. So you can do a lot of different projects with the Memories and More pack. So that's my little presentation for you, and I hope you liked it. Thank you.